All right, this is Kickstart Tutorials, and here is what we are going to create today. We are going to create a flamethrower, which can shoot when you click the mouse. And it's going to be a very easy tutorial, because we are just going to use some free assets and basically plug them together. And you can use this flamethrower for your own game. So please enjoy. All right, so we start off in this very basic scene. So we only have a cube as a floor and a directional light. So, so far nothing is really in here. And we are going to go ahead and import the first person controller from the standard assets. Uh, you can find them right here in the assets folder. If you don't see them here because you don't have them imported yet, just make a right click on the assets folder, import package, and then here you can find the characters uh, menu points. So then we go to the standard assets, standard assets, and then here we have the prefabs, and we're gonna use the FPS controller. And just drag it in, put it above the floor a little bit, and we would already be good to go to have a basic first person controller set up if you hit play, so you can walk around and jump and you hear some sounds. And uh, next up, we want to add the gun to the game. So what you are going to do is you go to the asset store and in the asset store, you wanna find a gun that you can use as a flamethrower. You may use whatever gun you like. You also can use just a cube or whatever. It completely depends on you. Um, for my purpose, I choose a sci-fi gun because I personally like the look of it, uh, but again, you can choose whatever you like. And also make sure you hit the free only, because, um, you know, we don't have any money, so, yeah, we can't pay for assets. Uh, yeah, I choose this one, so I already imported it, so you just go here and download and import it. Then go over to, it should show up in your assets folder. You go to sci-fi gun and then prefabs and then just choose whatever prefab you like. I like this one and go ahead drag it into the scene and here you should start to align this with your first person character. So just drag it that it is kind of in the viewpoint. When you click on game you can see the view of your first person controller. Yeah almost. I move it a little bit more to the left, that is a little bit too high, that is too low, damn it. All right, I think this should almost be good, maybe a little bit more adjusting here. Yeah, it should be fine for now. Okay, um, next up you want to drag that sci-fi gun under your first person character right here and that way it moves with your aiming. So if you drag that in here, you can now, if you hit play, the gun will follow your mouse. So that is what we want. Next up, we want to add the flames. Um, for that, I am recommending you to download the particle system that pro is provided by Unity, Unity themselves. So go over to particle, free only. And the Unity particle system should show up somewhere. Maybe here, there it is. The Unity, po Unity particle system. So just go ahead and download that and you actually can see that they already have a flamethrower prefab. So once you downloaded that, you should see it right here. It says effects examples. There you go to fire explosions, then to prefabs, and then you um, choose the flamethrower and just drag that into your scene. And if you were to hit play now, you could also see that this is already spitting fire and that is basically the effect we are going to use so now we only have to apply this fire to our gun. And that is actually pretty simple to do. Just 
click on the flamethrower effect right here and now you need to select the flames and you can actually move them up and down already so what you want to do is you want to move them over to your gun so that it looks like the flames are in fact shooting out of your gun uh, all right let's move this up a little bit I think that looks about right maybe a little bit more to here yeah that looks fine and now you also want to attach the flames to your gun so it moves with your gun so go ahead and click on the flames and drag it onto the sci-fi gun um, it tells you this will break the prefab but that is completely fine and if we were to hit play now we already have our flames attached to our gun However, we just don't want this to shoot the whole time. We only want it to shoot when the uh, when we press the mouse button, so we have a kind of fire effect. Also, go ahead and um, drag the light kind of before your gun, so it kind of looks like the gun is making a a um, light and on cast a light on the environment. So let's drag that under here. And then also attach it to the flames so just drag it onto the flames and that way the light will move with it but now uh, we come to the point where we want to uh, add some lines of code in, in order to make this fire once we press the mouse button it's not going to be some hard code it's just very basic stuff so don't worry about it also I go ahead and delete this because we don't need it anymore and then I click on the first person controller and I'm actually going to do this right here in the first person controller script. Um, so go here and click edit script and then either Visual Studio if you're on Windows or Mono Behavior should pop up and you can see the first person controller. So what you want to do here first is you want to go up and look for those fields right here. Those are the uh, options that you can choose on the side here like you have walking is walking or the walk speed which are the variables that you can see here so you want to add one line so I'm just gonna copy this and we want to add a particle system so I'm just gonna say particle uh, emit particle system there we go and I'm gonna call this M flame thrower all right so I got this and this will show up here in a minute oh we already have it here the flamethrower is here and um, now I'm gonna take this flamethrower and tell it once it's once the the scene starts in our start function here we are going to stop emitting because we don't want it to shoot fire right from the start so that is the first thing we are going to do and then inside update we are actually gonna tell it that every time uh, I press the mouse button so that would be get mouse button down so every time that happens I want it to play play the particle system and that is just as easy as saying uh, flamethrower play you know using unity makes it a lot easier for you to do this stuff and then we copy that and say once it goes up so once you release the mouse button um, it should stop so and that way we will have it play once you click it and then not play anymore once you release the mouse button at least I hope that's what's gonna happen so let's head over to the scene and test it out okay so as we can see it clearly didn't work and the reason for that is because we don't have the particle system uh, dragged right here because it does not uh, the options we just selected are not actually attached to the right particle system so we're going to drag the flames in here and now it actually should work yes so you can see it's not shooting right from the beginning and when I click it the light turns on and also the particle system is going off 
So yeah, this is how you create a basic flamethrower and it's all free. I think it's pretty easy to do. So go ahead and try it yourself. See you next time. If you like this video, please consider subscribing or give this video a like. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. See you soon.